Hey everybody, thanks for joining us, Pack Crack Attic. Sorry I've been away for a little bit. Last time I posted was probably about a week ago. I was out of, out of town on business, so I haven't really had a chance to post any other videos. I'm getting ready to do our first session of Rivals of Ixalan. So we've kind of wrapped up everything from, um, from Ravnica Allegiance. I've sold a lot of the high value cards there, so I've made most of my money back. Just kind of finishing up some of those sales. Um, yeah, and then going to jump into our Ravnica or our um, Rivals of Ixalan case. Um, I'm hoping to get to that tonight, and then I should be able to post a video either later tonight or tomorrow, so pretty pumped about that. Um, wanted to give a, a couple highlights on the case. So one of the key drivers of the value of the case that I'm seeing is actually from the Mythics. So um, probability to pull Mythics is about 8 to 1, so we're going to see in every 8th booster we'll pull a Mythic. The nice part, though, is that all but three of the Mythics are going to be over the required value to pay back the cost of the booster. So, uh, a quick reminder: we paid 370 for the booster or for the booster box case, which translates into about a dollar 70 per booster. So, if we're making above a dollar 70 on the rares and the mythics that we're pulling, we're in pretty good shape. So, those high value mythics, even though we might not run into them, um, I think the average mythic value for the uh, for the set is like seven bucks. So, every time we're pulling a mythic, we're paying for a couple of the boosters and then the rares. Uh, do pretty good. Uh, rares are doing pretty well too. So we're seeing, I think, eight or ten rares that are above the expected value or the required value of that uh, of that booster. So about that dollar seventy point. So um, hopefully it'll be good. Hopefully we have some really good luck and we pull some good cards. And we can uh, we can give you guys some sweet cards at the end of this booster box. Uh, this booster box case. Um, a couple of the cards that we're going to be looking for in the case. Uh, the biggest one is going to be uh, Rekindling Phoenix. That's our highest value card within the set. Um, it's about $18, $19 right now. So one of, a couple of those, maybe a play set of those would be perfect. Um, foil one would be awesome. And then a couple of the other ones are going to be Elanda the Dusk Rose, the Immortal Sun. Um, and then we have, uh, yeah, Zakama uh, Primal Calamity is another one. A couple of the rares. Uh, the biggest one is going to be Jade Light Ranger, which that and Rekindling Phoenix are, man, I see those played all the time right now in Standard. So those will be two popular ones we want to pull a lot of. Um, let's see, maybe, I'd say probably, um, I think the second or third highest value rare is Wayward Sword Tooth. Oh, and then Hedonis Climb is another one that's up there. So... So yeah, looking forward to the case. Can't wait to get started. Like I said, hope, uh, hopefully I get to it tonight and then I can post it as soon as possible. Um, yeah, and we start uh, start going through some some sessions of Rivals of Ixalan. So thanks for tuning in. Um, yeah, check out my next video too. Keep an eye out for that and I'll get it up for you all as soon as possible. All right, thanks a lot.